Stop. Well, that was exciting. That was exciting. <laughs> it was. It's nice to be here at last. I know we're a few minutes late, but we had some technical issues with one of our guests. Well, probably both of them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's good to be here. How are you this morning, Neil? I'm fine. Thank you very much, Mike. And you? Very well. And you notice I've got my high cross polo shirt on today rather than a dog collar. Yes. Because um, you... I'm going for a walk later on with a new vicar at St. Michael's. We're going to walk around the, the boundary of a parish, which should be quite nice. Um, oh. Oh, but naturally, nice. we're going to start in the town centre with a coffee, which is the way ahead, isn't it? Funny you should say that, because me and Jason are going out for coffee after this. <laughs> so are you? We'll be sitting outside somewhere. That sounds obviously at the cafe at High Cross. You know, Colin's back open and the cafe is roaring with his wonderful lime green umbrellas. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's perfect. That's perfect. We've got. OK, now today is a bit of a chef special. OK. We have um, uh, we have uh, Anna Clara uh, Brown. Chef Anna Clara, yeah. Chef Anna Clara Brown. She's a chef. Okay, she's not she's not a cooker. And she's a proper chef. And uh, we've unfortunately um, we've also had to include Jason in this because he did set the whole thing up. So I apologise now, but uh, Jason will be with us as well. So and not... we've got the beat button ready, so we should be okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm going to bring in. Uh, I'll bring in uh, Chef uh, Chef Anna Clara now. Hello, Chef Anna Clara. How are you? Hi. How are you? Okay. Now um, you are in Cornwall, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> down here. <laughs> okay. I'm close, yeah. And and where did you move down there from? Were you whereabouts were you before that then? Uh, so what happened, I was in London and also in Saturday, so I was working for a Caribbean uh, restaurant called Sugar Dumpling. So I was yeah. traveling like from Saturday to London to open up a new restaurant. And then I left the company. It was just too much for me. It was so, it, it was hard work. But I, I'm someone who, who never gives up, but that was really hard. <clears throat> And then in the end, I ended up working for this barbecue restaurant in Kingston. And um, I just wanted like a, a little getaway one weekend. And mm. I ended up just booking a holiday in Como in uh, St. Agnes. And when I came here, I just fell in love <laughs> on the same day that I arrived. And then I kept on going back and forward to Kingston and back here just for like weekends or like twice a month. And one day I went back to Kingston. I seriously rang the British Heart Foundation saying, Come to my house, get everything, and I left. <laughs> okay. Brilliant. So, so you've been, I can see Cornwall is gloriously sunny. Um, Anna Clara, it's can you just move your cap? Absolutely beautiful. Look. That is oh, so that's the Agnes Bakery there. It's gorgeous. And that's just our butchers and stuff. So is, everything, can, everything is just on the doorstep. Can you can you do us a favor? Can you just move your camera up a bit? So there we, we go. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Either that or, or, or scoop a bit. Thank you. Yeah, and what's lovely is your kitchen is so much nicer than Jason's. It's uh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> but what's impressed me already, Anna Clara, about about you is when you first came on, you had a glass I of fizz in your hand already. Show you around. Yeah, go on. Let's have a look around your Can kitchen. I show you around? Go on yeah. then. So, yeah. Oh, all the bits ready? Yep. Wow. Well, because you are making, you're going to make a, a you're going to make a goat curry, aren't you today? Yeah. So we are here, all set. Wow! Look, she's got, she's got a bottle of our um, glass of fizz there. Look oh, at that. Gotcha. I have to. <laughs> 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 somewhere in somewhere in the world yeah. it's okay to drink isn't it yeah <laughs> okay so I'm, jason jason is messaging me my by you know he keeps messaging me so i'm going to bring him in hello jason morning guys hi chef how you doing <laughs> glad you got out of bed this morning 
Hey. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, no, um, it's, great, it's great to have uh, Chef Anne Clara yeah. on board today. Uh, makes a difference between myself and you guys chatting and cooking. So uh, yeah, as a good friend of mine, um, yeah, it's uh, fantastic to have her on the show. And her cooking um, is amazing, absolutely amazing. I've shared gonna, a few pictures with you, haven't gonna, I? And we're, we're going to find out in a minute, Jason. If you talk, stop talking for two seconds, we can we can hey. find out. Okay, so oh, you, can um, always, you can always drop me out, Neil. Not a problem. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it's so different. laughs> so, Anna Clara, uh, explain to us what you're going to cook today. Yeah. Ex can you explain so what you're going to cook today? I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to try to be fun. My phone never behaves when I want to do something important. There we go. So what I'm going to show you is um, I've got mat on here. So normally I'll just marinate it with, uh, with the fresh herbs. And uh, these little herbs, I actually went to St. Moore's the other day and I just picked them up in people's gardens. <laughs> so I've got lavender, uh, thyme, and uh, rosemary in them. And then I normally marinate this 24 hours. So I, I'll just put a few, few of coriander seeds in there. And then that's just pour powder. And then that's mess. But I, I, brine, I, I blend the, uh, the mess together with anjoa seeds. So it's just like a perfume in there. And then with a little bit of also turmeric. And then just a, a bit of salt. And then I'll just mix this. I also make like my own oil, like chili oil. So I go all the herbs and seeds and store it in there. I mix it all together. Spoon. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. And then from there, my mouth's warping at the look of this it looks great it does look great what we're going to do is we um uh chef what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to we're going to carry on with the show okay we've got other things to talk about all right and then uh we'll we'll keep coming back to you yeah okay yeah. cool excellent right, chef so. keep going chef oh, and we'll sorry. work our way yeah, around I'll, you I'll carry on drinking my Okay, that's gonna be done. Who can Thank I'll you. Leave it there. Okay, so today we we have it's National Garden Day today. Now, obviously, oh, wow. um, so Mike, you are a avid gardener, aren't you? You love gardening. I like <clears throat> I like spending time in my garden. I quite quite enjoy a nice cup of coffee, just wandering around, seeing what's going on. But I work on the principle that a weed is a misunderstood flower. Okay, so. I'm quite content for the anything to grow, so um, it looks quite nice and it encourages the bees. We have a wonderful, in the back corner of our garden, a wonderful patch of nettles that the butterflies and the bees absolutely love. So it's, um, yeah, it's great. But I do enjoy my garden and enjoy the flowers coming through and um, keeping it tidy. But we're going, for, we're going for no mow May this year, which means we don't cut the grass till the end of May. How do you cope? How do you cope? I'm, 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 look, I'm looking outside now. And I, I, you know, I, I can obviously see the garden outside, and the grass is already quite high. And I'm like, I just want to get out there and cut it when we're so, all mowing. <clears throat> so what we do is we cut a couple of paths in it in the back. Yeah. So a path up to the shed and a path up to the um, a table and chairs we've got, and then in the front I just cut round the edge. But it allows the wildflowers to grow and all the natural grasses to grow, and um, is then a haven for the birds, uh, the birds and the the bugs and things. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So. Um, so Jason, with you being a, a greengrocer, obviously, um, what's what's the what's in season at the moment, uh, uh, garden wise? Well, well, on, on in and veg wise um, and in fruit wise, uh, English strawberries are now come through. Um, they're starting to show now. Um, I've got some actually coming today from the New Forest um, grocers. They are a big supply of English strawberries. We've also got, it's a fantastic year at the moment for asparagus. That's now oh. uh, showing up. So it's only a short season with asparagus. But, oh, it's gorgeous um, though, isn't it? 
Oh, oh it is. I mean, it, it's full and full of um, antioxidants and asparagus. It's good for physical activity. Um, it contains a lot of copper in there. Um, it, ox it oxygenates your blood. So it's a very short season with asparagus. But yeah. if you can get it, and you get it fresh and crisp. If you find asparagus and it bends, it's useless. If you I find asparagus and it doesn't break, and but then snaps, you know it's fresh. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the, to uh, to chef in the kitchen. So, chef, what are you actually doing at the moment? Hello, <laughs> Anna, Anna Clara. Hello. Hello. So, what what are you actually doing at the moment? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, chef, chef, what are you actually doing now? Can you take it, a couple? It's like Cornwall signal, isn't it? It's it's the cool <laughs> internet, isn't it? So that's, in that's a... time now, what I have done, I put a little bit of the oil in I put some uh, 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 just Spanish. I want to say a little bit of brown. I'll add on the meat. Um, the yep. one that you might you to have marinated for 24 hours so it just there so you just leave it until it is brown and you got the rice to go with it and then i actually just get it from downstairs okay so you you source you source locally then all of your yeah, the butchers and the grocers is just downstairs. That's brilliant. <clears throat> that's I that, that's. I, seeing it, guys. I yeah, I know. It, unfortunately, uh, obviously, as more people log on to the internet, it's uh, it becomes a bit of a problem, especially in Cornwall. So I know the internet's not too hot in Cornwall. So I've got friends who live down there. There's so, only one wire in and one wire out in Cornwall. That's the problem. Yeah, and look, she's still drinking. <laughs> <laughs> if all else fails. That's brilliant. We'll come. We'll come back to her in a minute. Then, what else? What else were you going to mention? Um, that is rhubarb in season at the moment, Jason. So, rhubarb, yeah. Uh, well, we we did have a little bit of false rhubarb, but yeah, rhubarb is starting to come through now. Um, literally, literally, I like that. Literally, yeah. Um, I was I was looking at some big rhubarb yesterday. I mean, giant leaves of rhubarb, big thick stems. Um, yeah, it's a chef's glory this time of year with uh, with the spring. I mean. You've got the asparagus, the new the strawberries, the raspberries. Wild garlic is in abundance at the moment. Oh, I love Everything. a bit of garlic. Wild garlic. If you know a if you know a, a secret place, yep. Yeah, um, there's a few mushrooms still around, wild mushrooms, but as I say, unless you know what your mushrooms are, please don't pick them, please don't taste we, them, please we, don't put them anywhere near your mouth. We have wild garlic in our garden and it's wonderful. Beautiful. Oh, you have you can smell it. As soon as it rains and a little bit of heat from the sun, that smell is pungent. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is. Using salads, great with salads. It's I'll tell you, there's so many colours about them. You've got your reds, your greens, your your oranges. You know, uh, peppers as well are doing quite well. Uh, I noticed that in uh, Waitrose, <laughs> we we shop at Waitrose. I'm sorry, sorry guys, we, we shop at Waitrose. Them like me. Yeah, I know. It, the thing is, it's just down the road. That's that's the thing. But uh, the the colours from the peppers are, you know, um, it's it's all changing. It's all changing massively. Yes. And the, the the other thing is because we've had this pandemic, and obviously because we're out of Europe now, we're using a lot of local uh, suppliers, which is absolutely fantastic. You may pay slightly extra, but the thing is, it's local, and you're putting money back into the community, which is which is great. Oh, look, she's hang on. Right, let's go back to Jeff. Let's go. We <laughs> Anna Clara, you're drinking that like I'm drinking my coffee. It's quite impressive. <laughs> oh, gone again. Um, but it, the, um, but you're right. Shop local is the key, isn't it? And it's nice this week that the town centre's reopened and the shops have reopened. Um, I don't know if people have been in already, but I was in there on Monday and it was just really buzzing. It was nice to see people around. I was there yesterday again. It was buzzing. But what's even nicer is people were sticking to the rules you know they were clearly using the hand sanitizers they were wearing the masks um and they were giving each other space 
the one thing I'd say to people is, you know, remember we've got COVID marshals in the town centres and on the various high streets within Surrey Heath. They're there to keep you safe. So if they politely ask you to um, put a mask on, that's not a reason to abuse them. That's a reason to say, oh, sorry, I'll pop a mask on. And do you know um, what? They are. They are I've, I've talked to quite a few of them, and they are so nice. They're, they're yeah. not over. They're not over the top. Going, they don't go put your mask on. Put your mask on. It's a not, they're nice and polite with it. And I know that you know some people, especially if you're in a, in a group, there's like two or three of you. You know, a few lads walking down the road uh, wearing a mask isn't cool. If you're outside, then that's okay. As soon as you go into the shopping centre, you need to put your mask on, please. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. That, that is the rule that's been imposed. Um, it's, it's essential and it's um it's just so key um but it is nice now that you know the shops are reopening the cafes are reopening um the pubs are reopening and the restaurants are reopening all for outside but it's it was a bit of a shock to the system though to have snow on monday morning wasn't it when we were the the weather has been all over the place uh, oh. just going back to to uh anna clara there and hello chef chef can, can she hear us can she yeah. hear you yeah. <laughs> Can you right? Where whereabouts are you up to at the moment? We we we've seen you cooking. We've seen you putting things around. Okay, so how how's it going there? Yeah, yeah. So the meat once the meat is like nice and brown like that. Most of all, to let's say potatoes. I normally just put let's say carrots. So I've got the carrots here. And then you obviously can't be able to stop it. Looking good. So once Looking it's good. kind of like cooked for, for matter normally nine one six like uh, two and a half or three hours. And then obviously I've done some, uh, I've already made one. <laughs> here's, one we, here's one we prepared one earlier. Area. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> um, Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So. So once the sides are done, and, and I'll show you the finishing touches of it. But it's still okay. in there. It's still Excellent. in there. Nice Excellent. Chef. It really Excellent. does smell. Oh, chef, I can, I, chef, I yeah. can smell it in Camberley. It's, it, it looks wonderful. It really does look wonderful. And it, it's... Uh, the, <laughs> The uh, how, how long can how long can you how long can you keep well, uh, I keep me cooking with them in Canberra, so it's fine. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Well, well you know, yeah. you're going to have to come up here at some point, and we'll you'll have to do you'll have to do something. We've got a catering kitchen um, at High Cross Church, and um, we'll have to get you in there doing stuff. Absolutely, yeah, that'd, that'd be awesome. Thinking of doing like uh, some pop-ups in Canberra, and then also in Kingston, like just back to my roots. <laughs> that sounds really good. So, uh, I will be. Coming to London soon. Oh, well, when you when you when you when you when you're up here next, we will definitely. Um, I we'll, think you've we'll got three customers. In. Yeah, and Clara, <laughs> Chef, can you tell us a little bit about your background? And who influenced you? Like your mum, your gran, people back in Malawi. Who were your influences in your life for cooking? Who inspired me? Yeah. Yes. So, so, say that again, I missed that. So, <laughs> got a delay. Question. Who, who influenced you, Chef? Influences. <laughs> who is? Was it? Me? Yes. Was it Gordon? Yeah. Gordon Ram was it Gordon Ramsay, or was it? Was no, it Gino? I you know. <laughs> yeah. Who inspired you to go down the route of, of, of learning how to cook? I need to move you guys. I think the network on this side is bad. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's cool. You guys. This is why we had Jason What's for entertainment it? value today. <laughs> okay. Keep going, Chef. Keep going. It's a bit of a delay, but keep going. I You're doing well. A thing. <laughs> Don't worry. That's, That's the common... Prosecco. Yeah. Where are we to? Who, who influenced you, um, Chef? <laughs> oh, I have Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but to be honest, it's just my life. And I don't 
Donald Trump. It's just my man. I don't know can any other shares that go oh, maybe I'll be like, oh, one day I want to be like that, or I want to be keep. <laughs> So how how <laughs> you're you're also I understand you're also into your fashion you're yeah, you're a bit so of a you're, I just got by my nan to be honest you're you're also uh, into your fashion um, <laughs> yeah I I used to have fashion but not anymore. Not anymore. So, but you you like you you like to dress. You like to dress up. Um, obviously, when you go out and then things like no, that. So, when I was in London, obviously you have money, but down here, it's not it's not good money. So I, I stopped buying all the expensive stuff, and now in just me, chef white, and I say flip tops. Ah, okay, okay. So right. Um, so back, back. We're, we're gonna we're gonna go back with some local news. So if you want to crack on there, um, Chef Anna Clara, and um, we'll um, if you want to crack on, uh, we, we're just we're just gonna go with some with some more local news. Okay. Okay. So um, yeah, so the shops the, the shops have opened up, um, and it's outside catering only at the moment. So if you want a coffee or you want um, a breakfast, you can you can have it outside. Um, what date is it going? What date is, is it? Seventeenth of May. He, he goes across this chart. I love every time. Every, every time. single time across the, the room. Yeah. It's the seventeenth of May. Um, no earlier than the seventeenth of May that we go back to being able to sit in, indoors, which is exciting. But actually, in theory, the weather should be so good, and that should be the last of the snow. Um, <laughs> We should be um, able to sit outside, which is it's just wonderful. It, it was wonderful this week just to see so many people in town. And I know you and um, Jason are going to go filming later today just to see we what's are. available, see what's going on in town. Yes. That could end up in a disaster, Mike. <laughs> yeah, we're going to... So if, if anybody's out in town and sees Jason and Neil, avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're, we're not going to away. Doing, Run away. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to be doing into it. It's going to be we're, we want to see what's open, um, and you know, we might we may interview a few people. Um, we, I've already tipped off the security guards in the square, so they know that they come in, and they're looking out for them to uh, apprehend and detain them as two. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they know who I am from behind. They always shape shape my. <laughs> and especially because you're going to have a high cross top on anything's possible yeah yeah so um but uh yeah so the, the, the things are starting to happen and which means that events yeah. are going to start um happening as well now um uh, at the moment uh, a lot of stuff is still on zoom oh oh get, get plating i like that yeah so uh a lot of stuff is is still on zoom but we are as a community now thinking about going ahead and i know that canby theater has got oh. uh, events happening and apparently they they've moved their box office well they haven't moved it they've got an additional box office they're going to have an additional box office i understand in the square and we're hoping to get um somebody from the um theater on to talk about that and talk about their exciting program um i don't know what other people have done but we booked some tickets yesterday actually at the theater um which is is wonderful it's it's going to be good to go and see what's there what, what are you going to go and see mike I, I can't tell you at the moment it's a secret oh okay okay <laughs> well i've i've booked tickets <laughs> <I'm early. laughs> yeah. I, I, book, I book tickets for um uh to go and see a show at order shot wow so <laughs> that's uh, brave <laughs> I know, I know. Older shot, really. Older shot, yeah. Um, what, the, what we booked to see at Older Shot? Help I'm get me out of here. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going. We're going to go and see um, Schwaddy Waddy at uh, at Older Shot. So um, yeah, that's yeah. going to be great. I think Jason's feeling ignored because uh, Chef Anna uh, Anna Claire is just Clara's just ignoring him. Chef Jason says, "Get plating, please." I'm working with the time delay. Anna. Anna Anna Clara, can you get plated? Can you apparently can you start plating up? What is it? Is it? It's the chef term by the looks of it. <laughs> can you get oh, plated? 
Oh, okay, yeah. You know, I'm starting to feel more like Phil Schofield every show we come on because I just end up giggling about things going wrong. Um, the only difference between me and Phil Schofield, of course, is Phil's got a heck of a lot more hair than I have. But yes. saying that, you know, just thinking of people with big locks of grey hair, I wonder if Alistair Pinkerton and Phil Schofield are a lookalike. You reckon? They're brothers. They're brothers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the reason I was thinking Phil Schofield is because every time I watch him on TV, he just seems to be giggling about things going wrong. So, Well, the, the, the good thing about doing live... The going out live is that it just happens and providing it doesn't offend anyone it's great so that, that that's why we have we have to mute jason every now and then just in case yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely and um yeah so it's exciting that things are reopening that things are coming gradually out of the lockdown you know even as a church we're looking forward to oh, having oh that looks nice right having in-person oh. services um from may sometime in may it's just exciting times but we've just got to pray that people keep being sensible Yes, yeah, definitely that, that. and uh, uh, together with everything, I think that's just all over. You just got to be sensible. <coughs> Excuse me. The um, obviously the rules will relax. They they will relax, uh, but you still have to be sensible with it, and, and that's the thing. Now, as we can see, Chef is is plating up. She's done. She's done her rice. Um, now I don't know about you, but I use microwavable rice. It comes in a little pouch. Two minutes in the microwave, bang, job done. But obviously, uh, a chef will, will do something slightly different to that. <laughs> oh, thing. Yeah, rice. Pit. Look at this. Look at this. What? My, you know, I've just had some breakfast and my mouth's watering already. Is it? Yeah. What do you have? What? Oh wow! It's so. <laughs> when you say goat goat's curry, it, so you you don't sort of imagine it's going to look so good. I imagine goat's curry is just a bit of meat with a bit of rice, but what you put with it is actually fantastic. Look at that. How long does it actually take? You said it takes about two hours to make. Two to three hours, yeah. That is a so, bit of a... If you've got my like a pressure cooker, that would be ideal, so it won't take long at all. Could you put it in a slow cooker as well? Uh, um, this one I did, yeah, two to three hours. So there you go. Wow. wow. That looks good. That, that is amazing. amazing. Oh, I wish we yeah. had smell of vision then you just <laughs> oh, <laughs> Even the rice looks good. And he just need the so, prosecco with it. Cheers, Chef. So, <laughs> Chef, when, when you come and do a pop-up in Camberley, can you um, reserve a table for the three of us, please? Yes. We want we want to come and do a taste test. We want to come and do a taste test, yeah. and we can get, we'll get you up in the kitchen at High Cross as well, and and you can um, you can you can mix up some. Sorry. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. you can also that was fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Bye. Thank you, Chef. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, there we wonderful. go. She wonderful. Was absolutely... All the way from Cornwall. I think that's our furthest um, presenter. I've done the show, isn't it? It is, it and is. I have to admit, my mouth is watering. The colours just made it. You know, you don't need smell of vision because you can taste it and smell it. Yeah, just wonderful. Yeah. I, I, sent, uh, I sent a video link to Neil, and I'll share it with you. Some of the amazing food uh, Anne Clara does. I mean, you must, you must put it on the you must put it on the stream below this video so everyone yeah, can see I'll, it. I'll, I'll I mean, obviously, mm. being in Cornwall, the, the abundance of fresh fish down there and produce yeah. is. And it's right on her doorstep, like she said. So I will put the link up there, and you can see some of her amazing work. It's absolutely fantastic. Put it, in the, people, put it in the comments section. Yeah, yeah what I people think, didn't, didn't hear beforehand was Anna Clara was telling us about the fact that she gets her produce from the shop that's just downstairs. And that's, um, that's how local yeah. it is. It's wonderful. And I can see why she's fallen in love with that part of the world, which is just amazing. Yeah. The thing is, and I think, we, we, we and spend, I think we're, we're very lucky today to have <laughs> Clara on 
I mean, she, I mean, she's done work with the BBC and stuff like that. So, yeah, to have her have her on our show today is, uh, yeah, truly remarkable. It, it's uh, certainly one step up from Jace, Chef Jason, isn't it? So, yes, but, but saying that, saying that, the great man himself, <laughs> he's not going to at all. <laughs> no, no, he's going to be coming around, all right? And he's going to be, we're going to have a barbecue outside. It's going to be socially distanced. We're going to be doing like a barbecue special. Who, how can you not love a barbecue special? That is going to be. So we're going to be out, out in the garden, spaced out. Um, what, and what day are we doing that? Because I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I've got it in my diary. That's fine. Got it. <laughs> I think it's the next week. I hate to say it. I think no, it's the that. week after next. It's the week after next. Yeah. So next week it won't be a cooking special. So, um, but it will be. I'm sure we can we can find some fantastic guests to uh, to get on the show. So thank you very much, guys. It's Thanks, been... everyone. Have a fabulous week. Keep safe out there and enjoy the shops being open. Shop local, everyone. Shop local, and uh, we will see you all next week. Take care. Or we in town later. Yeah. Sorry. Or, 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 in later. Town, or in town later. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Cheers, guys. Bye.